Hello viewers, I'm going to be doing a series of comparison videos on these two cordless phones. The one on the left is a Uniden D1364 and the one on the right is a VTEC CS6114. They both come in black and white. I just happen to come across these two in these colors. You can get each one in either color and um, yeah so the first video here this is going to be a technical comparison we're going to look at the different features they have and the different functionalities and then the next video I'm going to do a opinionated, an opinionated comparison and explain which one I think happens to be the better telephone so let's look at the cost of these first it's kind of hard to get a good cost measurement because the Uniden is no longer being manufactured so you can buy it used on eBay or whatever I think you can actually still get it on Amazon but the price is ridiculously inflated because there's not many left but when these both were still being sold they were very similarly priced I believe the Uniden was going for about seventeen dollars and the VTEC was going for about uh, fourteen or fifteen dollars so there's a few dollar difference not you know much to write home about so both of these telephones are expandable I cannot find any documentation that describes how good the expandability is but I would guess that it's both 12 handsets now the Uniden does seem to be more intended for expandability you'll see a number of expandability centered features on here you can see here that the standby name for the handset can in fact be changed on the Uniden. It cannot be changed on the VTEC. This also has call privacy. So if you have multiple handsets and you want a call to not be interrupted, you can turn this on and none of the other handsets will be able to join the call this functionality is not present on the VTEC telephone neither of them have intercom the product page on Amazon claims the Uniden has intercom I don't see it in the manual I don't see it on the phone itself I can't seem to find it so I'm gonna say that neither of these have intercoming functionalities neither of them have speakerphone either um, neither of them have an answering machine so you're relying on a telephone company provided voicemail in this area the Uniden also has more functionality the Uniden has a message indicator light which would be flashing if there is a message and it also has a voicemail number shortcut button right there so you'd press that button and after you've stored your telephone company voicemail access number in there it'd be one button press to get to the voicemail the VTEC it would tell you on the screen that you have a new message which is not very visible if you don't have the backlighting on which is most of the time and it does not have a voicemail number storage button so you would have to manually dial the number for your voicemail every time to check it. Now the phone book in these is the same. It, it, they both have 30 entry phone books. They both have caller ID phone book match and the caller ID also stores only 30 entries in each one. Now the standby screens are pretty similar on these phones. Of course, this one here, it would be displaying handset one instead of no line. I don't have a line plugged into it, but you'll see that it has the date and the time down at the bottom, as well as a battery icon, and it would also show the number of missed calls if there were any. This telephone has um, date and time as well battery icon 
and uh, it displays the banner which is far more useful than on the VTEC and it would also show the number of new calls. These both have the find handset function. Of course, it's not terribly useful if you have more than one handset because you'll have to constantly be removing the handset from the base to use it. Um, but it's there if you want it. So, battery life is seven hours of talk time on both telephones. With the Uniden, you do get one more day of standby time. The Uniden claims six days of standby and the VTEC claims about five. They use the same batteries, oddly enough. They are both nickel cadmium batteries. I mean, they're not nickel cadmium. They are both nickel metal hydride batteries. They are the two AAA style batteries and they both have a very small 300 milliamp capacity. These batteries last a pretty long time they, both of these phones have been in use for several years and the batteries still work just fine. Uh, they're pretty economical to replace. You can get them for a few dollars on Amazon. So it's a good battery. Backlit buttons are present on both, though they're not terribly useful because you'll see that neither telephone has fully backlit buttons. Talk and off and all the other function buttons are not backlit. Same uh, with the Uniden just the screen and the numbers. These buttons really should be backlit and they are just not. Now the VTEC, you'll notice here when you take it off the cradle backlighting comes on. Not so with the Uniden. I really like that feature especially if you want to make a call at night and you know it's dark you pick up the phone and you don't even have to press the button the backlighting is already on. So that's nice. Um, this doesn't have a charge light, but when you put it back on the cradle, oh, I gotta wait for the backlighting to turn off. When you put it back on the cradle, the backlighting will come on to indicate that it's charging. Of course, that's not necessarily saying that it's still charging, but you see it did make contact, now it's charging. Um, let's see here. Redial is five numbers for both telephone. They both have ringer adjustments. The Uniden has two ringtones and three levels of, of volume, including ringer mute. The VTEC has four ringtones and two levels of volume, as well as mute ringtone. Now, they both have mute for when you're on the call. And um, one thing I really like about both of these is the wall mount is standard. You don't have to get any strange brackets or anything like that. And they both sit flush up against the wall. And um, it's the back, the, the um, wall mounting is, is good. It works well on both phones. So that's the technical comparison. The Uniden does have a few more functionalities. Of course, it comes at a slightly higher price as well. But um, we're going to use these phones for a few weeks together side by side and I will come back and do a review uh, for both of them and I'll tell you which one I happen to like better.